An Islamic center hoping to move into one local community will have to move elsewhere. So just what happened tonight? Bill, late tonight, the city council in St. Anthony voted down the proposal for a new Islamic center. Five Eyewitness News reporter Jay Coles was there for a very emotional and heated debate, Jay. Jess, it was two hours of pointed exchanges here at City Hall. The council ended up rejecting the plan on a four to one vote. But I did learn tonight this might not be the end of the debate. Now, City Hall chambers have not been this full in years. Nearly 100 people packed the place to have their voices heard. The debate is over this building, an old Medtronic building on Old Highway 8 in St. Anthony Village. A group of Muslims wants to make it an Islamic center and mosque, and we're seeking a conditional use permit. Most of those in the crowd didn't want the mosque, and after the vote, supporters say you can expect to see a legal challenge. There is no other religion in the world that condones violence. Islam is evil. There are no pluses at all in letting this mosque in our city. It's a lose-lose situation. We're going to look at legal options, um, but initially we are going to ask the Department of Justice to look into this. Now, the Muslim population in Minnesota is growing steadily. I have some numbers here broken down for you. There were four new mosques in Minnesota last year. That brings the total in the entire state to 40. Now, between 30 and 35 of those are in the metro area. And according to new numbers from the Pew Research, Muslims pop, the Muslim population will more than double in the next 20 years in the entire United States. Reporting live in St. Anthony Village, Jay Coles, 5 Eyewitness News.